Welcome back. Today I got a very, well, a couple days ago actually, I got a very cool new toy here. It's a 1953 vintage uh, Kohler generator with a Wakuska, Wasuka, something like that. It's a town in Wisconsin engine. Um, really, really nice little engines, believe it or not. You look, you got a carburetor, there's the uh, ID tag. So if anyone feels like correcting me on how to pronounce that, you can because I really don't know. I'm just guessing off of the spelling. So, um, it's a 10 kilowatt generator. Pretty nice little piece. Uh, I'm gonna eventually hook it up to the house right now. We're just getting it running. I just had it running, runs like a top, runs like a champ. And we'll get a video of it starting here in a second. You can see right there, it is propane or natural gas uh, compatible also. But that will not be hooked up at this time. Um, right now we're just getting it running with the proof of concept. We have some uh, jumper cables and some vice grips holding the battery set up together. Again, proof of concept. There's the front end. It is a hand crank. Um, it's actually trying to get it running for about, uh, about two days there. And apparently I can't spin the hand crank fast enough. So uh, we have got the electric start hooked up. We have the other side. Original fuel pump, which will re be rebuilt. Um, and carrier electric pump I just threw on. This is 12 volts. The whole setup here runs off of 24 volts. So I'm gonna either have to remove that and rebuild the original if I can find a kit for it. Um, looks like some all of our tractors may have used that same style original pump there. So we'll see how that goes. And that may be covered in an upcoming video. If we look up through, there we go. Just did new spark plugs. And there is the Wico, Wico, W-I-C-O Magneto. Um, so yeah, we may be doing a little bit of work on that too, just to get it to run optimally, but it is running very well now. Uh, I have a gas can with a line in it. Uh, that is the gas can that came with it. The line that came with it was fairly brittle and old along with this being full of, well, it's almost varnish. So pretty, pretty bad stuff. I'm gonna walk around, give you a tour of the other side. Well, the back. Um, this is an old job box off of a semi truck. They went and mounted all the controls in. We have uh, two 50 amp 220s, a 30 amp 220, a uh, little 220. I'm not sure what the little 220 is even used for. I've never ran into one. Uh, again, I'm not very good with household wiring, but hey, you know, uh, we have a GFI outlet and two other 110s there. And over here for gauges, we have oil pressure, tack, which is not working. We will be looking into that. And a water temp, which seems to work because we're a little above 150. I just had her started up for half a second. Look back even further, there's a little breaker panel, which will give you power to everything. I still have yet to figure out what does what um looks like there's a main there or two so we'll figure that out now let's start her up and do a little run video for everyone She shakes, rattles, and rolls, but runs like a top. So right now we got a little bit of an exhaust issue going on. Um, so you can look down in there. Whew, that smells. <laughs> or we may be burning a little oil. 
from an oil leak. I can't quite see myself, but uh, yeah, it looks more like burning oil. So it looks like I'll be doing some cleaning. The exhaust uh, from what you can see here is completely MIA. So I will be putting exhaust on it. It's an old oil bath air cleaner. And the breather may be what's leaking even. So that may wind up being an easy fix. But I thought I'd give a video of this just because it's a cool old piece of history. Again, 1953. This thing is roughly three times my age. So it's uh, pretty old and pretty cool. Either way, any questions on it or anything else, I've gone through and figured out there's pretty much nothing on the internet for these, so if anyone has any questions, I'll be glad to make a video or, you know, try to help you along with your little project you may have. Okay, so here's just a little proof of concept. You can see how dark it is. I have the lamp there plugged in here. We're going to see if it actually will produce power. Um, may take a few seconds of me switching things around. But we're gonna see where it goes. Hang on one second while I turn on turn on the fuel pump. Okay, had to reposition the battery. It was uh, walking its way off the trailer. And that does not have a hold down for that battery. Let's try it one more time. runs oddly oddly well for being many many times older than I am however I'm very pleased with this project and we'll be doing more with it here as things progress I'm sure I'm gonna touch on it because I really think it's pretty cool to have you know old pieces of history here so we're gonna try to combine these couple videos in, together and make one so thank you for watching again please comment